Hey mate, you alright? Might go through there, yeah. Get the top up there. There we go. Come back up. So, in today's video, I have a huge box. Now this is something I've been keeping my eye on for a while in reverb, um, the online sites like eBay for guitars, those of you who don't know, um, but it's really good, this is my first ever purchase from it, it's something that I've been wanting for a very long time and uh, something's going to fit really well in this channel, so I'm not going to make you wait for ages, I'm going to start unboxing it right now, um, put it straight on the table and you can find out what it is. Sent a message me the other day saying that um, he needed more packing peanuts for the size of the box he got. So uh, let's just see how that ends up all spilling out all over the room. Yeah, so uh, you can't quite see that yet without a lot of packing peanuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and like, rip the box to pieces because uh, it's going to be so much easier. Wow, than um, taking it all out, but. Uh, Tell me he's going to flood my room with the packing peanuts. Put it that way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Right, so, um, first clue a foot switch. So, uh, I'm assuming most of you have guessed what it is by now. Try not to spill too many packing peanuts everywhere. Get my hand right to the bottom of this. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere, it's absolutely everywhere. Right then, so this is what we're left with and a lot of packing peanuts just all over the place. But um, let's get into what we've got here. That's oh, alright, I think we've got a corner to open. It's like Christmas again. Still going. Nearly there. Okay then, we're going to see the front of it together and I'm sure most of you have guessed what it is by now. But I have been after one of these for absolutely ages and finally I found one at an absolutely brilliant price on Reverb. Um, I've been keeping an eye on it for about a year, uh, it was originally 600 um, and I got it down to 325 plus a bit of shipping which I'll explain later but we're going to reveal it now together. Look at that. How absolutely incredible is that? That is insane. <laughs> the cat is currently kicking around packing peanuts, but oh my god. Look at that. So for those of you who still don't know what it is, this is the Hughes and Kettner signature Tommy Thayer Duo Tone Amp. Um, they were a limited run in production between 2008 and 2014 um, and they're the ones that he still uses to this day live. Um, now I bought this used condition, it's been gigged with quite a bit um, but it's from an owner who obviously took great care of it because it's in brilliant condition. There's a slight tear back here, there's some scrapes on the underside I understand and I'm going to need to, going to, need to replace one of the LED lights. I think it's just one strip along the top there but hopefully that should be no bother but I mean look at it it's absolute monster flip between channels flip the boost on and off wow that is absolutely insane 
I'm going to give it a good clean up at some point. So yeah, as I said, um, I found this on Reverb um, probably just over a year ago, roughly, um, and I thought I'd keep my eye on it. At that time, it was about, I think it was listed at £600 originally. Um, and then, yeah, so I decided to keep my eye on it. Didn't think I was ever going to get around to buying it, but um, it was originally on local pickup only from uh, Norwich, which is about, uh, in England, it's about three and a half hours from my house. Um, so that wasn't really an option. So for a long time, I just thought, yeah, I'll probably never get it, but I'll keep my eye on it, see where it goes. Um, and then recently, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's been my birthday. Uh, I turned 18, so I'm finally of age. Um, I decided to treat myself to a birthday present and originally I was going to get another guitar and then I thought back and looked at this amp I realised the price had dropped and I was like actually that's really cool but I still had one sort of gap I couldn't get over to Norwich it's uh, a bit too far so I messaged the seller his name's Chris I'll put a link to his reverb page because if uh, any of you guys in the UK want to buy any of his stuff he's got some nice stuff I think he's got a Vox AC30 on there he's got um, a Gibson Les Paul studio I think so um a couple of orange amps so there's some good stuff on there i'd recommend checking him out but i messaged him saying uh you know would, would you be willing to ship this over i'll pay all the shipping prices and uh he basically said yeah no problem just i'll sort it all out for you um explain the sort of leds i need to get to replace at the top um explain some of the wear and tear and yeah he's been absolutely brilliant so i can't say enough good things about him I need to check it's all in working order like he said it was but i'm fairly sure it will be um he said it was in perfect working condition apart from the light uh, which just needs replacing um, so that should be no problem but yeah um, I can't believe I finally got one it's one of the original run uh, there's be recently been talk of a reissue um, which would hopefully drive this one up in value as well once I fix the LED because it's an original run um, but yeah this, this is going to sound absolutely incredible um, I'm going to do a full demo of this in another video because um, I want to get a proper mic set up so I can get a nice um, solid proper review done um, and don't half ass it because I, I really like to, to take the time to make a proper video about it but um, yeah I can't believe I've got one of these um, I'm gonna get it all sorted out soon and that will be shown in a future video so uh, let's see if it works <laughs> okay so funny enough as you can see this thing is actually way wider than my uh, Marshall 412 but I thought we'd switch it on together um, to get the first impressions of the lights and the, um, like I said um, a minute ago obviously half of the um, LED light is is um, out of action it's, it's broken so it needs fixing but that shouldn't be a problem I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> look at that even with half of it it looks cool and actually um, if you look at the one Tommy plays live it's um, half the LEDs broken on that so um, yeah that actually looks insane so I'm so pleased with that um, yeah, you can see the valves all warming up at the back um, I'm going to plug this in and uh, and see how it sounds so uh, yeah let's give this um, I've given it a bit of time to warm up I've uh, noodled around a bit and um, let's see what this thing sounds like I also um, I feel like I'll just put this in now um, I saw the other day on the Hughes and Kettner page, Tommy's uh, apparently actual amp settings, so um, or there or thereabouts. So I'm, I've dialed those in, uh, tweaked things a bit slightly, uh, hit the gain up for because he has a couple of amps. He uses this one for the lead channel, so I'm just going to go for that. Uh, just going to noodle about a bit, like I said. Um, I'm going to do a full demo in another video coming. This is just a bit of a test, show you how it sounds. So, uh, look it up. <laughs> to be sat here listening to that but that sounds absolutely insane. <laughs> Thank you. 
honestly, it sounds absolutely, it's not even got any reverb on it yet, and it sounds absolutely insane. <laughs> Let's just flick to a bit clean because this we've got a very nice clean track. Honestly, I don't think this crappy camera microphone is actually gonna show you how amazing this thing sounds. And once it's warmed up and properly there, uh, once it's got a bit of reverb on it, I think it is gonna sound extremely close to how Tommy does live. The only thing really holding me back is obviously his playing it, tone is in the fingers isn't it but I mean this I am so glad I bought this I mean ooh, it's getting nice and hot on the top as well I and mean, this is my first full fat valve amplifier I mean I've got a um, uh, you've seen it in previous videos a Marshall valve state uh, it's got a valve preamp uh, but it's more of a a valve assisting a solid state preamp whereas this thing is full fat valve um, EL34 power tubes um, and then I can't remember what the um, preamp tubes were um, but I'll run them across the screen now. Um, but yeah, I am. I'm so glad I bought this thing. Um, it is. It has made my day. It is a huge birthday present. It's going perfectly with my um, my signature models that I've got already, and just on the channel all round. Um, I'm going to be able to make some awesome videos of this. So stay tuned for the future when I get a full recording setup, microphones, and everything. Um, and I will give a full in-depth review of this, certainly once I've fixed it up as well. I'm going to open it all up, I'm going to clean it, I'm going to sort these lights out and then we should be good to go. So, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very special episode uh, on the Kiss Guitar channel because uh, it's quite uh, going to hopefully turn out to be a bit of a historic day for the channel. So, um, I really hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, share this video around. Uh, I really want to grow this channel now that I've passed all my... Or I say I've passed, I don't know if I've passed yet, but now that I've gone past all my A-level exams and all that, and I'm moving on to uni, hopefully I should have a bit more time to focus on the channel. Um, so I really want to grow it again, I want to start making guitar covers again, um, which should be really good. Also, um, check out my most recent uh, video, which is where I go to my final ever KISS concert uh, in Manchester. I thought download was going to be it, but thankfully it came back one more time, this is the last ever concert in England. You can go and watch my video blog on that, uh, video blog, video vlog, vlog, computing, <laughs> anyway, uh, go and watch that video, I'll leave it on the end screen so you can uh, just click on that straight away, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.